Okay, normally I ask people who they are, but uh, you're Skip, K1CCS, and uh, what happened to you just before Nearfest uh, two years ago? I had another I had another episode. I was having TIAs over the years, and nobody could ever say what was bad. And it turns out that I had a clogged artery on my right on my right side, and lost the left side functioning of my body. My left arm, hand, foot, leg, speech, cheek, everything. So you get early warning signs. You've got to know that there's probably a clogged artery in your body somewhere. And I can attest to that because I was a steady eater. I was on the road as a salesman. Steady eater at McDonald's, French fries, hamburgers. So that's where the clogs came from. And they had a dog of a time. The ladies said took her an extra hour during the operation when they did the bypass on my, my carotid artery. <clears throat> but anyway, you get early warning, so heed them. What is a TIA? Transit ischemic attack. Several times I would lose sensation in my left arm, and that was it. And never, never the cheek or speech. So it never fit all the attributes of a true stroke. But it was an early warning. And all I can say is, if you have a chance to have a, a life scan, that come hundred bucks. They do a carotid scan and scan for aneurysms, bone density, EKGs, a whole bunch of stuff for a hundred bucks every year in different places, VFW halls, church halls, places like that. If you see the ad, get it done because that was my that was my early warning. When I got some of the less than stellar results, I should have gone in and had the carotid artery done. But how, how do you but feel now? this life after <laughs> after it. How do you feel now? I felt so good even after even after the TIAs. I can remember one October going home from here I had when I pulled over on the side of the road and a cop pulled in behind me because he was going to get gas. The only place to stop going south back to Massachusetts is exit is, is mile 11. There was a place to pull over safely, not a rest area. That's where the cops get their gas. And fortunately, the guy was right behind me, and he saw me get out of the car walking around. I said, I'm not on drugs, and I don't know what's going on. So I called my wife, and she said, you know, tell the cop to call an ambulance. So, so I you knew, that. you had an idea of what was so happening. I missed everything after that. MIT and several of the flea markets that I'm regular at. But anyway, there is life after a stroke. But How do you feel about being back at, at, well, you're now back at Nearfest. Are you selling? Yeah, I am. I take my usual spot inside what I call the log cabin building, uh, opposite the end where HRO usually is. But I just got back from a purchase at HRO and I noticed they're in one of the buildings down the hill. They must have remembered that if it rains you get wet in this building. Okay. Sometimes. All right. Thanks a lot. Well, it's good to see you, Bert. Okay. Take care. Thanks. All right.